Hi everyone and welcome to our junior planning night. Tonight we're going to talk about a bunch of things, exploring your options, deciding what's best for you, um, whatever direction you pursue. The process is basically you're going to meet with your high school counselor. You're going to get informed decisions from doing things like visiting the colleges, um, maybe an interview process and going over that with your counselor, how to prepare for an interview, meeting with college admission counselors. We want you to keep a sense of humor and definitely if you haven't done so before, check out the college and planning guide on our counseling website. During the winter and spring months, juniors can schedule their junior conference with parents. Juniors and parents have to submit their questionnaires just so that we can prepare for the meeting. We ask for at least five school days for that. Juniors will meet with their counselors in seminar class throughout the third quarter. We'll work on many things. Um, you're gonna begin and continue with visiting colleges. Students will investigate colleges and do research. We'll get you onto Naviance so that you can use that as a tool. We'll have you ask your teachers in person to write you letters of recommendation. We'll have you register for the SAT or the ACT and AP exams um, in May. Registering for the NCAA website, if appropriate. And then during junior seminar, um, all juniors will be scheduled, um, usually with their own counselor and during a free period. You're in small groups of about 10 students. That encourages your participation. Only third quarter, it meets about once every eight day rotation for the total of five sessions and attendance is mandatory. You guys are gonna love it. Here are some of the topics that we cover during junior seminar. Um, there's a timeline. We create a common app account together, senior year courses, and we do our registration for that, picking those classes out. Um, we do college search tools and developing a list. We'll go over the college essay, college interview, and college visits. We'll talk about managing stress, and everything will be there for you in Google Classroom so you can reference it as you need. The main components that colleges use for, select, for selecting students are the transcript, standardized testing, if required, because many schools are now test optional, the college essay, recommendations from your teachers and your counselor, activities list or resume, possibly an interview if they do that, and additional requirements depending on if you're an art student, music student, etc. The DHS transcript, I always tell students that's the most important thing that the admissions offices get. They look at your GPA and the strength of the curriculum. It shows semester grades only, so no quarter grades, no exam grades. Usually includes your weighted GPA. Um, we do not report ranking or SAT or ACT scores. You guys will go to the testing companies and have those sent if you want to for the college process. Standardized tests. How SAT or ACT scores are reviewed varies by college. Um, some colleges have test optional policies. Um, many colleges now do not require standardized testing. Practice is key, so we'll get you some information about how to practice for those tests. The PSAT results will be posted on your College Board account, which will be a nice resource. And then there is a Connecticut state SAT test that we will use for the state exam in the spring. Testing procedures, basically you wanna register ahead of time for these. Students have to create their own accounts on these websites. You'll need a photo ID for registration and admission and no testing center changes or test date changes on the day of a test. It has to be done prior. So just make sure that you bring these things with you to the test. Make sure you get a good night's sleep. Um, and that, again, it's more important how you do every day than any test. But these are the details, and we'll go over that with you. Recommendations. So counselors write letters of recommendation for each of their students. Colleges typically require one or two teacher recommendation letters. Um, usually we want to identify these in the spring of your junior year. Sometimes there's other recommendation letters that you wanna get through someone that you know through employment, maybe a coach, and then quality is much more important than quantity. The summer before your senior year, 
You're going to continue to research more colleges. You're going to continue to visit them. You're going to work on and get maybe a completed college essay by the time you come back to us in the fall. Um, we will help with that when you come back in the fall as well. Review your application requirements. Um, if you have a portfolio for art student, an audition for music or theater students, and then anybody can really submit portfolios if they're interested. For example, for art, you might, you know, review, do a portfolio review anyway. Begin or continue your work on the common application. And then I'll hand it over to Mark. Thank you.